Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa B and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so as you guys can tell from the title, today is going to be a get ready with me featuring Shop Missé. Shop Missé girl, if you're watching this video, if you like this video, I see you working with smaller YouTubers, hit a girl up. You want to send me some free stuff girl? I will try it out. That being said, everybody else, welcome to my channel. <laughs> If you like this video, if you fuck with me, then make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Anyways, I have already moisturized my face. I was just uh, filming another video, actually, and I decided to go ahead and put on a shirt because your girl was wearing a towel, and I just looked naked the entire time. I don't know that this is helpful, but girl, I'm wearing a shirt. Um, anyways, it was all lopsided and stuff. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start with my brows. I think I'm gonna pin my hair up. If you watch my latest video, then you also know that your girl's gonna go to go watch a movie in the park, and that's what I'm getting ready for. I just shopped a shop. I just shopped. I just filmed a shop miss a haul. So I'm gonna be using some of those products. If you want to see all the products I got, because obviously I can't use them all in one sitting or maybe it's not obvious I can't use them all in one sitting so if you want to see all the other things I got make sure that you go ahead and take a look at that video I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brows you guys know that I picked the medium up and the dark brown up I'm not sure which one's gonna work for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in to the medium brown so call me crazy but you guys know that I've been having a hard time like trying to find a good angle to like sh uh, film my get ready with me's and I just realized if I just pull my damn drawer out it can come out close enough to me so it's not that hard of a reach when I'm reaching for things that I need so that might work for my get ready with me's and that's kind of exciting because previously it's just been too hard to reach for stuff that it makes it inconvenient to do these Anyways, so I'm going to start by getting my brow liner brush or my brow brush and a little bit of micellar water just to like clean it up. That's what I like to do before I get started each and every time unless I forget my micellar water when I go like out of town or something. Um, so that's clean and then I like to just press it against the lid I mean I've never used the shop Missé stuff I typically use Anastasia so this is the same way that I would use it whether it's shop Missé or Anastasia just grab a little bit like this you guys have seen a full detail brow tutorial on my Instagram if you haven't you can find one there but I generally just like to brush my brows. I know they're unkept and unruly right now. And typically I start by brushing them up and do the line underneath and then brush them down and do the line above. Today I'm going to be using this pomade that costed a dollar, by the way. It's in the shade, I said it's medium brown and it's the Wonder Brow from Shop Miss A, obviously. Everything's Shop Miss A. Well, not everything, but. All the products that I picked up I'm gonna be using today I didn't get any foundation and um, yeah well right off jump it's not as blendable I'm gonna try to get in there you know when you first get into a product like I feel like it's not picking up that much so didn't really do a whole lot for me there so I'm trying to pick up enough product in here I can see that maybe it has decreased in size since when they put it in the component. You can see like around the edges there's a little ring. Just a side note. But I mean it's a dollar so. Okay. This is working a little better. I started at the top because the bottom made me really nervous. So that's the color it's serving right now.
hopefully this works out because I have that date with my boyfriend later. Not saying he's gonna be like, ugh, but like, I don't wanna look crazy. And we're gonna be in public. We're going to the park. I think I told you guys in the last video, but I'm gonna tell you in this video, just in case you're only watching this video, but if you haven't watched the other one, girl, go watch the other one as well. <laughs> Do me a favor. Um, but um, they're gonna have a dog costume. The sh movie they're gonna be showing is The Best in Show. So um, I think I'm gonna take my dogs and have them wear a costume. Bella has this hot dog costume. If you guys don't know, Bella's my chewini. I'll make sure to include a clip of them, especially since I plan on taking them. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna, I have a hot dog costume for Bella, and she's a chewini. If you don't know, if you haven't been to my channel. And she's so cute, so I'm excited for her to go she's still considered a puppy in my book she's about a year and a half so she's still really active she enjoys being around other dogs and people so I think she'll have a good time out there because a lot of people are gonna have their dogs out okay so I have one brow basically done I'm probably gonna like um, Clean it up a little bit right there and a little bit down there, but this is what it looks like. Not bad. It is a little hard to work with compared to like the Anastasia brown. But honestly, guys, if this stays and it sets for a dollar, bitch, who am I to be complaining? If this is a dollar and it works decent enough, then that's a deal because that Anastasia stuff costs like. $30, just about. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it up with a little bit of micellar water. Normally I'd use my spit. <laughs> you guys probably have seen me use my spit, but there it is. Nice and easy clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fluff them out. Fill them in where they still need to be filled in. Cute. So this worked its purpose. I think the medium brown worked just fine for me. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, kinda messed up that line. Oops, accidentally opened the dark brown. Dummy, closed it. Okay, so I'm gonna just touch up this line up here. And if you guys are wondering what brush I'm using, I'm using a brow brush that I got with a Tarte pomade, which has been my go-to brow brush for years, even when I stopped buying their pomade. Though their pomade is not a bad buy. I enjoyed it for what it was when I had it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera, and then we're gonna get into some of the other things that I purchased. Okay guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and did both brows. I did fluff them up, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you guys see that. I would say, you know, this is a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. If you were in a pinch, if you did not have the budget set up for you to go and get your Anastasia or whatever one is your go-to, maybe comment down below what's your go-to. If it's not AOA, if it's not Anastasia, comment down below. Or if it's Anastasia, if it's AOA, just comment down below. Let me know what's your go-to. If you were in a pinch, I would rate this 7 out of 10. It works. It's malleable. Like, you can blend it. It's just not the easiest to work with. I found it to be a little stiffer than what I'm used to. I don't know if you add micellar water or some kind of other oil that it would soften it up and make it a little easier to work with. So comment down below. Did I get a dud? Is it normally creamier? Is this typical for this brow product? Overall, you know, like last weekend or last week I was in Lubbock for like a week. I, I would have taken this because I I had it here at home. I hadn't hauled it yet. And I ran out of my Anastasia pomade. Like, how am I going to go all the way to Lubbock without any pomade? And then I was, like, searching through my bag. And all I had was, like, a brown 
a brown brow gel so that had to do but i would have taken this the seven out of ten if i had to if i had no other choice okay so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and you guys also saw me haul this this is the clear brow gel so normally again i typically and i'll show you i typically use the anastasia one so that's what i'm used to um a clear brow gel but since this is an AOA video, we're going to be using the AOA brow gel. So this is the one I picked up, I believe, for a dollar. Dead, it's right there. And uh, it's nearly all marked off, but I think you can kind of see an A on there. Where is it at? Right there. I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit, but it's practically worn off. It's an Anastasia one. Uh, the AOA one is a little bit shorter. They're about the same width or like circumference. But I'm going to go ahead and try this one. This is the applicator. There you go, that's the applicator. And I'm just going to brush it in. I kind of feel like it's not picking up that much, but it is picking up something. Something enough for me to style them with. And I guess at the end of the day, I'll let you know if it held. Although I feel like it barely is picking up anything. So those are my brows. I'll let you know if it holds, but like I said, I kind of felt like barely anything was coming out. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I wasn't gonna wear shadow, but I'm gonna go ahead and wear shadow because I wanna try these shadow armors. Um, I don't quite know what I'm gonna be wearing tonight. He did want me to dress cute. He goes, you want me to dress nice? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you want me to dress nice? And he's like, yeah. So I guess we're going to be dressing nice. So I'm going to try Alexa Jada's method. This side is kind of like textured. This side is the sticky side. And it does have a flap kind of like a band-aid to take it off. So what I've seen Alexa Jada do is just cut them in half like this and only use them on the outer end so let me apply them real quick and then we'll talk so i'm guessing if this is the way you apply them or she applied them it's more to create your liner and your eyeshadow to make it a more crisp rather than to catch all if i wanted it a catch all then i wouldn't have split it in two But also, like, to catch all, it probably wouldn't come up this far to make your liner sharp and your eyeshadow snatched. So, so far, I like the application of this one better. Oh, I was barely going to say, but I don't think you can really move them around too much and have them stick, so... I do have moisturizer on underneath that might be part of it but um, they are kind of coming up a little bit I don't know if it's also because the placement that I chose I don't know if you guys can see that they are moving a little bit let's see if I can move this one like to be right here it's like right up on my eye right up on my eye so it is harder to stick when it's right up on your eye but otherwise it's a solid sticking so again these are the shadow armors i picked up a pack of 14 for a dollar so if you cut them in half like i plan on doing then you'll get 28 
Okay, so I'm going to be using my own shadow brush, but I'm going to try to do a glitter look so that I can use the packing brush that I bought from them. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the shadow. I'm going to get my juicy bag. I'm going to dig, dig, dig. Oh, are, are my eyeshadow brushes there? My eyeshadow brushes are there. So I think I hauled this in one of my TJ Maxx videos. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it, but I haven't really used it. I think I've used it once. So we're going to use it today. It's the Sweet Peach Too Faced Palette. This is what the packaging looks like. And I've never had one of these, so I was excited to pick it up. It does smell like peaches. And these are the colors I'm going to be working with. I think I'm going to keep it pretty plain and simple, mostly because I don't know what I'm wearing yet. So I have my color switch little thing over there, but I'm just starting out with a very light color just to set the tone. And then we'll do the big reveal when we get the armor, the shadow armor off to see how it lined everything up for us. I do plan on wearing a little bit of liner, I assume, because I have the shadow guard on that it's going to make it easier. Not that I've had, like, real trouble putting that on. But here we are with the first little color laid down. So there's my eye with the color. There's my eye without it. With, without, with, with, without, with, without. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm and what color am i using does it say does it say oh i'm using georgia like georgia peach all right i do feel like my moisturizer is breaking down that brow gel because it's not looking as crispy as it did it's already looking messier I'm worried I'm worried okay so both my eyes are set with Georgia I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit brown and go in with summer yum so I just did that color and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of brown the summer yum makes sense are you guys fans of peaches i'm actually been pretty excited to see them in the stores i live in texas so i don't know if they have you know the growing season is the same everywhere or is it depending on the climate uh, or the weather of the particular state but i guess this is definitely peach season because they're in the stores girl they're in the stores so I can't forget that I'm going to do some kind of glitter or something on top. I really don't know what I'm going to wear. I kind of wanted to wear like a red something or another because I have some shoes I want to wear. But I don't know. I also have to be like dressed appropriately where I can get on the floor with my dogs if I take my dogs. Because I am taking my dogs. So going back in with Summer Yum on this side. So maybe peaches, oh, going back to what I was saying, maybe peaches, their time for like being ripe and stuff is in the summer. That that shade made me think of it. Are you guys like me? Like one side, it's so much easier to apply the eyeshadow than the other. Like I feel like this side always just blends so easily and like the other side always gets so muddy or vice versa. I can't remember which side it is but this one has just gone on there like a dream versus like this one like what's happening? So blend 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 here we go. I don't want to do orange on top because I just don't have an orange. So I'm probably going to do like a shimmer brown. I think I'm going to get in another palette because for the sole purpose of packing. It's a packing brush. 
So the brush that I got from Shop Miss A was $1.55. This is what she looks like. She's pretty soft, but now we're gonna put her to the test. And we're gonna find an eyeshadow to pack on there. So give me a minute, let me find one. <laughs> okay, so I quickly find this nine, nine pan, I guess. Petal Passion Palette from Morphe. You guys saw me haul this a uh, few TJ Maxx hauls behind. So if you're behind, girl, go catch up. Go see what I hauled. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with this I'm Busy. I kind of swatched it. I haven't dipped the brush in, but I did swatch it, and I kind of like it. It's a brown color. So it is like a shimmer. If you guys don't know, like shimmer shades, glitter shades, you should definitely pack them in versus like trying to blend them in. This is a little messy. I thought it would be creamier, but we're going to try it. So I'm just going to start here in the middle as far as packing it. This eyeshadow has some fallout, so I don't know that it was a good one to try. But so far, I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's packing the shadow. I feel like my eyes do have some wrinkles on them, so I don't always like the way shimmer shadows look on me. So that's a personal issue that I have. Um, a lot of this is falling out. I don't know if it's due to the brush or because Morphe is cuter than what it actually behaves. There's a lot of fallout. I think in order to put this to the test, yeah, didn't really pack at all. I don't know if the lighting of you guys can see that, but I'm going to go ahead and brush it off because, oh, okay. Well, my cheeks just all shimmer right now. That came up a little bit. Can you guys see? It's all just like shimmered out down here. And it's not that packed in well. What I'm going to do is get my own packing brush and see if that makes a difference. So, give me just a second. So, there's still a lot of fallout that appears to be happening with this shadow. I'm afraid um, we're not going to be able to give it a fair review, the brush itself. So I did dust it off, but now I feel like less of it's visible. I'm thinking the shadow was a fail to try. I mean, you can always use a packing brush. You could always use your finger. Guys, look at the amount of fallout that this shadow has. Can you guys see that? Tons. Tons, tons, tons. And look at this palette. It looks like there are a, little, a bunch of little pressed pieces together, but it's not serving. They're all just like falling out. So, I think I'm going to spray this down with some alcohol and hope that things get better. I'm not going to use it again today. I might just have to switch what I'm using. So, I just um, sprayed it and then pressed it, which is yucky looking. So hopefully the next time I use it, I don't have the same problem because I mean, honestly, we buy things because we want to use them. We don't buy things to have problems with them. So I'm going to just lay that down and let it dry. Okay. And I'm going to get my makeup wipe and just wipe underneath my eye because the amount of shimmer that is there is not okay. And I don't know if it's my moisturizer because Alexis Jada used to rave about these and it was not sponsored from my understanding. <sighs> that, 
I think it's my moisturizer that's making these kind of not stick properly as far as the shadow guards go. Well, that was truly upsetting. I think I'm just going to go in with a little, um, this little mauve color on this side, just in the crease to kind of marry the two and make it a little less brown and stuff. So I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to use the color switch. And so I put this lip gloss on in the other video I had. You guys can see it's getting all nasty like in the corners. And it was this one from Shop Miss A if you're curious. So I would say for long wear or if you don't like that. Not the best use of your dollar. So I'm gonna go in with go to. I've already cleaned my brush. And I'm just gonna try to you know, get it in here. Just add a little mauvey pink to this brown look. I don't know. I have a real problem with Morphe eyeshadows. Like, I think they're so cute, but I don't think they work that well. Why do I keep buying them? Probably because I'm being influenced to do so or their packaging or like just the look of them looks promising. I should stop doing that if they're not going to work. Also, they're going out of business, so that will also help me to stop doing that. Okay. This is going to be our eyeshadow look. I might put something in the inner corner, but not until later. I'm going to do this off camera because I don't have mascara or eyeliner. I'm going to come back, I think, when I do the blush or the lashes. So we'll see what happens first. I'll be back in a little bit. Let me get ready, girl. Okay, girl. So I went ahead and put my liner. And I won't even lie. These little tapes, if you tape them like how you would want your liner, I feel like it did make it a lot easier to do my liner without thinking. Um, not that it's a challenging task for me, not even boasting or anything on that dumb shit, but just like, it does make it easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip it away just so you guys can see how it left my eyeshadow. Yeah, that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean, not mad at that. And then this is the other side. Boop. That's also pretty clean. What do you guys think? Did it do what it do what it do? Did it do what it do what it do? Did it do what it came to do? I don't know what I'm saying, girl. But yeah, I don't know that these are as sticky as I would want them. I mean, we don't want it to pull off the skin, but I did feel like it was challenging to keep it on. Maybe, um, my moisturizer set it off, but like literally my face was moisturized for at least 20 minutes before I put them on, so not sure what that's about. But I'm getting ready to do my lashes. I'm going to do the Dolores Lash, and then I got the Super Strip Lash Adhesive, and it's they're both AOA, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. These were only $1.77. This is what they look like up close. I'm going to go ahead and get some glue on them and slap those babies on. I got a few hours before the event that I'm going to, so if they don't work out, if they start popping off, you know how new lashes do or like cheap lashes do if they're too cheap or whatever? I'll know in advance before I get there. So this is the applicator. I don't know. The package said it dries clear, but I'm hoping it dries clear, girl, because this is white. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Normally I go for the duo lash glue, and that's my favorite. I go with the green one and the paint on version like this with the brush applicator. And then um, 
I also have gotten the purple one with the brush applicator, which just means it dries down faster. Either of those have worked really well for me and have gotten me through many a times. I've heard some people say the Kiss one is where it's at. I've tried the Kiss one and my nieces who are now like adults, <laughs> damn, that's crazy, forever used to use the Kiss one, but it's never really worked for me. At least the one I had didn't work for me. So maybe if you guys convince me, I'll be open to it in the future. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. So I went ahead and just put on a layer of glue. If you know, you know. If you don't, this really isn't a lash tutorial. So I'm going to let those dry for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do a little blush while I have you here. And then I'll do my contouring and highlighting off camera. I heard somebody say that like, they don't really use highlighter anymore where a couple of people say that is that a thing am i living in the past i still like highlighter so um in my video i'm just gonna do like dang i have like so much glitter on my face i'm gonna do just a couple of little dots for my blush like literally because i did like a swipe earlier and it was a lot um, I'm going to try to blend it out with my brush, but I might switch to my finger. Look at that. That's a lot. Okay, let's see how it blends out. Come on, girl, blend out. Ooh. That's pretty bright, but it's pretty pretty, if you know what I mean. I'm going to bring a little bit of it to my nose. What do you guys think? Can you guys see? All right, let's go in for the second half. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty pretty. This liquid blush was only a dollar. Uh -huh. Bring some of that extra to my nose. Ooh. This is pretty bright, but it's beautiful. I like the blend on it. I feel like it blended very seamlessly and it's a pretty color. I don't think I don't think I've been rating everything. So I would say that these little stickers that I had on, for the simple fact that they didn't stick, I would say like Maybe in a 5 out of 10. I really didn't enjoy it because they kept popping up. If they popped on better, I would love it. This so far, not knowing how it would wear, I would say is a 10 out of 10 for this. And what else did I use? I think that's it. But I'm about to try on these lashes and let you know how that goes. I'm going to do one off camera and then I'll do one with you. Okay, so this is one lash on. My camera's trying to die on me. I wouldn't say it's the best application, but I also haven't like pressed it together. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the other one on camera just so you guys can see. I didn't trim these. I know a lot of people do. I typically don't unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, maybe I'm just lucky that way. I don't know. I'm sure there are other people that say I'm applying them wrong or could do better with the application. And then like the nice part about doing the liner is you can kind of be messy with the application. So those are the lashes in the style Dolores. This one's still, you know, hanging on for dear life. Needs to be pressed on better. Oh, let me get that hair off and this one as well. I let them I put them on and then I let them dry a little bit before I try to like press them together Because then if they're too wet then it gets like on your tweezers and then it becomes sticky and they try to pull them off Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour and highlighter off camera And then I'm gonna come back for the lip portion. Hopefully my camera does not die girl because you yeah. know all right bye all right guys so i went ahead and did my contour and my highlight and redid this eyelash like three times 
because I tried to adjust it and it was just coming up. We'll see if this lash glue holds. Um, I will say that I picked it up like prematurely, so we'll see how it does. But I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to go with the gel liner from AOA Studio. We got this in the shade Cowgirl. And today I'm also going to try setting. Really, just, it was on so tight. It was on so tight that I fucked it up. You see that? You see that? I messed it up. It was on there really tight. Like, I guess the lid fucking works. And it's not a twist up one, so. Well, well, well. That's depressing. Here we go. Definitely glides on. Like a dream. Very pretty. My lips have a little glitter from that gloss earlier. But I'm hopeful this is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner. Or more liner like in the corners. And in the bottom corners. To bring it in some. This is very much like a red brown color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this. And yeah, we'll see how it does. So I'm just gonna do, um, what is this? My Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder. And we're gonna set this. And hope it lasts. I will say the applicator was, I mean the lid on it definitely works. It went on very, very smooth. So we're gonna set this for a minute, then dust it off and see where we're at. Okay, so I dusted off my lip. Some of it still stayed on there, but I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. I think I'm gonna go with the pinkier looking one because this look is serving like too much brown. This is in the color Soft Heart. So here it is. I'm gonna see how it looks. Oh. Very, very smooth application. All the powder crusties. Guys, this is actually pretty cute. What do you guys think? I actually like it. Um Yeah. So, I'm hopeful I overall, oh, and the smoothness of this and the application of this is a 10. 
Okay, so this is what I'm going to wear to the park. I could have worn, <clears throat> I guess, this brown and pink shirt, and I was, but honestly, I just got my tattoo, like, not even a, two weeks ago, so it shouldn't be out in the sun like that, so I went ahead and changed. These are the shoes I'm wearing, and this is what it looks like from the back. You can see a little jelly row back there, but I'm okay with it, <clears throat> so... You should be okay with it too. This is not my number one pick, but this is what I ended up wearing. Should I wear this? Should I change to a t-shirt? My boyfriend wanted me to look cute. No, no, this is cute. Not saying that he says I'm not cute, but he said he's gonna dress nice, so I should dress cute. I kinda of wanted to wear a dress, but all of those are sleeveless. Like, what's a girl to do? I think this is what I'm going to wear. Okay. It'll just have to do. It'll just have to be okay with it. This is what I'm wearing. Alright. Bye. Okay, that light is bright. So, I ate some... I ate some cake when I got home, so what was remaining of my lip liner disappeared. But, it's late at night. I'm back from my outing. Eyeshadow 10 out of 10. Eyeliner 10 out of 10. I will say, let me just double check. Um, I don't know. These lashes are really cute. They didn't really come up too much. Oh, that one did when I pulled on it in the corner. Um, the eyelash glue wasn't the easiest to work with. It was not that bad. I would say because I didn't give it like a water test, at least like an 8 out of 10. This pomade girl is running for the hills it's disappearing the lip liner actually stayed on longer than i thought it would i was eating so it did come off but yeah and you can see the eyebrow pencil fading there and just not looking good <laughs> yeah and that's what i set my face to yeah, I don't know. I think the eyelashes and the eyelash glue are pretty good. The pomade, like I said, 7 out of 10. Maybe even a 6 because it's fading. Um, it was really hot outside, but I mean, still. Um, the, sh the, the blush, you can kind of see still on this cheek, but it's not as vibrant as it was. This side kind of got... I guess rubbed off. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of the other items. Like, honestly, I just can't wait to take this off. This is so bad. <sighs> um, anyways, I just thought I'd update you guys since I brought you along for the journey. Overall, most of the products, I thought they were worth it for the price point. So just take that into consideration. Comment down below your thoughts. What you thinking, girl? And yeah, I guess until next time. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa B and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so as you guys can tell from the title, this is going to be a get ready with me using all of Shop Mizze products. So girl, <laughs> Hi guys, 